Well, it's that fall time of year, and I want to see if I can find out where this fall bite everybody's talking about. I guess the fish fatten up before winter. I'm going to see if I can find them. This water looks so amazing. Probably means I'm not going to catch anything in it. <laughs> it's usually how it is. Well, I've been fish for about an hour or so, but I think I saw a couple trout, and that is it. Nothing else. I fished this river about uh, two weeks ago, and I, I caught a few fish. It wasn't cr like a crazy good bite or nothing, but I saw bass everywhere. Every little shallow pocket, all the calm areas, I saw bass swimming around. Today, nothing. So I don't know if it's just the weather or if it's the fall bite. Fall bite's over, I'm not sure what's going on with that. But um, it's probably gonna be a little hard for me to keep up one video a week, and uh, especially catching fish. So I may do some videos, maybe not catching fish, just some other stuff. And today, I think it'd be a great idea to go over my uh, uh, bag here, the little carry bag that I've got. I don't know much information about uh, how to get it on Amazon, because I've tried to look it up before, I couldn't get it. I got it from Academy. It's a Magellan bag. I got it from Academy uh, like uh, in the summertime and uh, when I saw it I was like oh that is perfect. I love traveling and fishing creeks and uh, carrying a bag where it's out of the way. I can still wear my camera mount and I can get just enough stuff in there where I'm not overloaded but I got enough stuff to do what I need to do. A few different lures, a few tackle supplies. So let's go through it real quick. Let's start in the back pouch back here where you can keep soft plastics and a few things. I got a uh, some swim baits I still haven't used yet. Um, some spinners. I'm gonna have some soft plastics, usually a few hooks. I change it up, what I have in there. One thing I put in there that I really like to use is uh, for spinner baits. I like using spinner baits. And um, there's, I, have a, I couldn't find a good thing to carry spinner baits in, so I found this soap box. It's a dollar at Walmart, I think. And I can get you know three or four spinners in there, uh, some trailer hooks, and it keeps them where they're not gonna get bent up and they're not gonna be causing a problem and hooked up in there. A lot of times I'll carry my pistol uh, or something small, something like that, um, just kind of out of the way and in the back pocket. Moving on. The middle pocket. It comes with two of these hard plastic cases. Uh, sometimes I'll keep a knife in there. But uh, I only carry one hard plastic case because it's really tight getting all the other stuff I have in there with two cases. But one case is just enough lures to give me, you know, what I'm gonna, you know, enough lures to switch through a few things. I got a couple of repellers, rooster tails, hooks, crick hoppers, some helgramites already on hooks, uh, weights, bobbers, some soft, uh, small soft plastics like panfish assassins and stuff like that. Just enough little lures where I can fish a little creek and sometimes I'll change it up, but I can catch little fish, or if I'm bass fishing, I got some uh, lures for some bass fishing. The front pocket, last one. In here, I got a miscellaneous stuff. Uh, I got some uh, Gerber pliers, gotta have those. Uh, extra camera, my GoPro. I got a little tape measure to measure fish. Uh, I found this little scale, and I love how small it is. And uh, it works great. I can keep it away in there. Uh, flashlight. A couple other things in there. I got um, a couple extra batteries, an extra microphone piece, and uh, some like uh, accessories for my camera stuff. Let me put all that back in there. So there you have it. I got, you know, some people like to take a lot of stuff, and a lot of times when I take a lot of stuff, it kind of gets in the way. I'd rather have less. Well, there it is. That's what I usually carry in there, and that alternates, especially the soft plastics, you know, maybe yum dingers or flukes and stuff like that. I change through stuff like that. But uh, it's not a crazy amount of stuff, but it's enough stuff where I got, you know, 15 or more different options of fishing. And sometimes when I take too much stuff, I end up spending more time just doing different lures where I could just be fishing with one lure. I was using a backpack, and I'm so glad I went to this. It makes things so much simpler. Let's throw it on. It's out of the way. It's lightweight. And especially when I'm moving, like a place like this where I'm just moving, 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 casting. I got one rod, got my backpack, or a little little pack here. I can move and catch some fish. All right, well, no fish in this video. Sorry about that. But hopefully the next one's coming up. I'll be able to find some and be able to keep some videos coming every Friday. Thanks for watching.